Hey you guys, it's Janice Dolnick with National Nurse Consulting and I am so excited to come to you live today and talk with you about LNC expenses. You guys, owning a legal nurse consulting business is probably one of the most affordable ventures you could take because really it's all you, right? You already have your degree and really you're just going through medical records, right? Well, I think that we forget that there are some expenses that uh, come along with being a business owner and sometimes there's so many that it's just like, ah, I don't know where to start or ah, I don't even know what I'm paying out every month. And so, um, you know, it's important to really get a good grasp on where we're spending our money in our business, where we can cut back, um, what we need to spend money on, say marketing your business, um, and really just being able to see that every single month right out in front of our face. And so if you don't have an accountant to start and an accountant to start out, you guys, and you're kind of doing this on your own, that's okay because Sometimes when you're beginning, you don't have a lot of money coming in to even have an accountant. So I've created an LNC Monthly Expense Excel worksheet that is inside of our free group, Work From Home RN Legal Nurses Rock. Uh, I have uploaded it to the file section. So if you're listening to this podcast, be sure you're a part of that group and do download the document. Now, you guys, the document's going to vary or it's you know it's not not every single thing on this document is going to um be something that everyone has or needs every state we're in is different but it is a pretty good general guideline of what you're going to have to plan for when you're building this business and you know where you're spending your money so sometimes people reach out and they're like i don't have that it's like guys i know this isn't you know um it's not a very it's not a black and white business it's very you know it's it varies person to person so um when you're looking at it take out what you don't need add perhaps something that you have that maybe none of us have especially if you're in a different country you have a bunch of uh legal nurses in canada and canada is very different so you may have to cater this to your specific needs but that's okay um just make it work for you but it is a good guideline so I want to go over it with you really quick and just kind of explain each piece. I know you guys are busy. I'm busy. I thought my hair is not done. I'm not doing a live video. I will do a podcast (laughs) Um, and quickly go over each little expense. Some of these expenses, you guys, are going to be monthly expenses. Some are going to be once a month expenses. Some might be every two years say your registered nursing license so when you're filling it out if you don't need it necessarily that month just draw a line through it i don't know that i would delete it completely because you might forget about it um, but you could draw a line through it if you want or you know if you have ocd you want to organize it however you want go for it i just threw a bunch of stuff in there you feel free to move them around and make them work for you so the very first expense you guys when you're starting your business is probably going to be your website and you know we have pretty we've really tested out every single website company out there and we found a great one that we share inside of the nnc members lounge but you know you're welcome to go out and and explore what works best for you Um, but you will most likely have a website expense and um you know i do recommend getting yourself a nice professional looking website when you're working with lawyers i think that i Although I don't have a lot of lawyers really going to my website, I do send my website out to a lot of lawyers. And, you know, that's really the face of my company and really resembles who I am as a business owner. So I would spend some money in this arena. This is a very important part of owning a business. So you will have a website expense. You may pay for that 12 months in advance, two years in advance, or do month to month. Each company kind of gives you different um, ideas or different ways to pay. So there is that expense. We talk about email expenses and I teach you more about that inside the NNC Members Lounge, but sometimes you might have an email uh, expense for your business that you will be paying for your guy, uh, your cell phone, you guys. Cell phone can be a business write-off. Again, I'm not a tax specialist. I'm just telling you some of the things that we've written off and have used, you know, the accountant has given us advice. So always consult with your accountant and your tax person 
uh, before doing anything. But here's some tips that I've used. So your cell phone is a write-off, LinkedIn, your LinkedIn account, if you have a basic, a free account, don't worry about it. If you have a premium account, there is a monthly fee for that. A lot of us are inside of a certain LNC training type course. So we use the ALNC membership in our NNC program. It seems to be the most affordable, the most up-to-date, and I just really love the teaching and the kind of pay-as-you-go options there. So that does have a yearly membership, I believe. Business taxes, you're going to have business taxes depending on what type of business you have, a sole proprietorship, an LLC, or a, I have an S Corp. So each one comes with different kind of, you know, tax ways that they bill you. So there will be business taxes for sure. Marketing, you guys, if you're spending a lot of mar a lot of money in marketing, this section here can include your photographs for your marketing, your headshots, um, stuff like that. Anything that you're going to use, flyers, brochures, documents, anything that you're going to use to market your business, you can kind of put in this section. And I really, I give you a, a, a tip of mine is really set aside a monthly uh, amount that you would like to spend and you can financially afford to spend on marketing. Once you get going, it's a lot easier to have an amount of money set aside just specific for marketing. Um, if you're looking at building a, a bigger business where you have a lot of subcontractors and stuff like that. Gas for your car, you guys, you're probably going to be driving someplace. So gas for a car or mileage, depending on how you want to track that. And your tax guy tells you how to track that. Sometimes your car payment or your car lease can be um, a, a write-off or the, um, not the tax on the car. Oh, I'm thinking the, inter the interest. So talk to your tax guy, but those, you know, can also be a write-off. You guys, if you have an accountant, that's going to be an expense. I pay monthly for an accountant. Your uniform, don't call them clothes, uniform. Some accountants will let you, or some tax guys will figure out a way to write this off. Some can't, but most certainly those uniforms or um, the outfits you're buying to go visit your lawyers, um, some can be, I've got, it's funny, I've had them be write-offs and then I've had them where they couldn't. So I don't know exactly how they do that, but some can, some can't. Just keep track of it in case you can. Child care, if you have kids running around, it's really hard to get any work done, so you may have a monthly child care expense. I do. Dropbox is really one of the biggest expenses that I have that is a recurring monthly thing because I have so many lawyers that do use Dropbox to upload records. We've gotten away from a lot of those like hard copy medical records and files, which is nice, uh, but now we have that kind of monthly fee to keep growing that Dropbox. And because a lot of these... Um, cases don't go to trial uh, for sometimes years you know i feel like my dropbox storage just keeps getting bigger and bigger and i have to keep adding additional storage which is also an additional cost so you're gonna have that uh, adobe or adobe pro if you're using that in your in your business any office supplies you guys you can kind of throw anything in there maybe give yourself a budget and then you also have the surplus and deficit section here so if you plan on spending 100 but you only spend 20 that month in office expenses you've saved some money so you can you know, include that on your LNC monthly expense sheet. Omission insurance, you guys, um, that's really important as a legal nurse consultant. If you're going to get sued, that's probably where you're going to get sued at for leaving something out. So you want to look into getting a good omission insurance. Internet, how much are you paying monthly for your internet? You want to keep that there. You definitely need the internet. If you have to pay for your own health insurance because you are self-employed, that can be a pretty big expense. Your nursing license renewal fee, uh, usually again, every two years for some of us, some are three years. Continuing LNC education, so that's pretty cool. You can write off your education. Again, I kind of go back to the ALNC spot uh, for that education, but you might get some education in other, you know, from other organizations too. DocuSign, I use that uh, for all of my lawyers and I do go over how to incorporate that into your business. It's really, really nice. It kind of helps get you paid much quicker too. Cloud storage, kind of a funny one, but if you're taking up space, you might need that additional storage. If you're going to an attorney conference or you have any vendor fees, any hotel or travel, 
Um, most of us don't have a business attorney and I always recommend getting a business attorney because you shouldn't be Googling your contracts or your legal documents, which yet most of us do as new LNCs because we don't have the money. So we do partner with a company called Legal Shield, and they do have a monthly membership fee that keeps it really low. It's like 89 bucks a month and you can contact your lawyer and ask, you know, pretty much an unlimited number of of questions, get your contracts looked at, and all that good stuff. So you're going to have a fee there. I know most lawyers charge $250 plus per hour, so that Legal Shield membership is really great to have. Um, you know, when you pay on a monthly basis and it kind of keeps that out of pocket expense lower. Electricity, you can write off some of your electricity. Food, your lunches, if you go on any um, meetings or meeting lunches or stuff like that, you guys keep those receipts. Car payment, so here's, so th this depends on how you're set up as far as your business and your tax guy, but there's car payment. If you've leased a car, um, you know, they can write that off in their own way. I think we talked about that already. Car insurance, any parking or toll fees you can write off. And again, make sure that you're looking at any monthly banking fees. So if you have any monthly banking fees to have your business bank account, you can write those off. Any gifts that you give out to lawyers, you guys, every year at Christmas and then one other time about mid-year, I send out really nice gifts to my attorney clients. I, you know, my big, kind of those big, those big payers, those are the ones that I send gifts out to, and I'll send them to the little guys too, um, just to stay on their radar and make them remember who I am and give them something nice and let them know, you know, we're thinking of them and hope that they come back for some, you know, for us to work with them. So you can write off gifts. Remember that gas, water, and garbage, if you own your house, I don't know how the how renting works. You'd have to talk to your tax guy. I haven't rented a home in a long time, but I'm sure there's some write-offs there too. Any subcontractor fees, so if you are subcontracting out, uh, you may have some fees that come out hourly that you're paying your subs, or you might, you know, or you might have other fees that you're paying, so you want to keep track of that for your subs. And then again, if you are part of the NNC Members Lounge, there is a small monthly fee to continue to work with us and be a part of our group. And, you know, lots of great things happen inside of the NNC Members Lounge. So if you haven't dive, you know, dove, dove, dive. If you haven't yet become an NNC member, it's something you really want to think about. This is, I, you know, when I created the NNC Members Lounge, it was that bridge. So many nurses have come out of really great legal nurse consulting programs, but they leave. I, I just, I see it all the time because it happened to me. I remember walking out of this week-long conference and ready to go as a legal nurse and having absolutely no idea where to start. And that's why I created this program. It's kind of that bridge into growing a successful LNC business. And something I was actually talking to one of the other LNCs about was I've been trying to teach some business programs to legal nurses at some of these well-known uh, legal nurse consulting conferences that happen every year and they don't want it. And I don't know if it's one, they don't want anyone to make money, which I hope is not true. Um, but two, I think the truth is that the, as far as I could tell, the Board of Nursing doesn't allow continuing education credits for business related programs um, or business related classes. So I think people prefer to not teach it because there isn't really much money in it. Most people don't want to pursue a course as a nurse that they're not getting CEUs for, um, which I understand. Uh, however, there's got to be that you know, you've got to be able, you've got to invest in yourself and in your business because this is a whole new field. So I've kind of created that bridge, that bridge from, hey, I'm ready to be an awesome legal nurse. I have everything it takes as a registered, as a registered nurse, but where the hell do I go now? That's what the NNC Members Lounge is. So if you want to find out more, head on over to legalnursesrock.com and click on the business tools tab. It will explain to you how everything works, what you get inside of the lounge. And we actually have three payment options now and they're all relatively low so that you can really meet your goals and start building a very profitable business. You can check out our testimony site too. Feel free to ask inside of our free group, the Work From Home RN group, who's inside the NNC Members Lounge and ask for some feedback, you guys. We've got a lot of nurses really kicking booty over there. And, um, you know, we all love each other. We're quite a small little family. So we hope that you have a, a great rest of your day. I hope this LNC monthly expense breakdown 
helped you out. I also added you guys the expense website login and password because I have so many logins, so many usernames and so many passwords that I forget. <laughs> I oftentimes forget or I write them down somewhere and I can never find them. So I threw them in here on your LNC monthly expense Excel worksheet, hoping that maybe that will help keep you a little more organized because that's something that drives me insane is like trying to find my login and I have papers everywhere. So I did add that there. Um, hopefully that'll help you keep things in order. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. You're staying COVID healthy and uh, yeah, take care you guys. I'll see you on the inside.